garage actually is in a fucking pigsty right now. Parts of the Lunar Rover. I'll take the battery cell. All this stuff to investigate. Alright, let's see. I think I'll start off over here. Gotta make sure the pressures are right and all that. That's how this always works, right? Guess so. Adjusting atmospheric pressure. Please wait. I think this is secretly an excuse for a big loading screen. Atmospheric adjustment complete. It's gonna be foggy in here. The map of the area. Where's for guy work? I wish I could mark down this map, that's for sure, that's certain. Alright. Back to exploring. Lights are having some fun. Let's look at my notes for a second, because it's been a while since I've checked them. Apparently I've met over 50% of the characters in the game. I've been almost to two-thirds of the locations in the game. Probably over because I didn't count the things I died at. I'm not going to look at everything so far though. I'm going to do a little more exploring here. Just a green light. And the way down, we're going to first check this room. It's a new territory. I'll even make a new save file here. Save? Yes. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to go here. Probably, though. But I'm definitely going to try. Take advantage of it. Hey, it's the workroom. I can work with that. Let's look at all this. Monitoring system. Alright. Oxygen production plant. Four different things. This car all gonna be sure is foggy in there. Like loud and foggy. <laughs> Oxygen control room. Is there anything in the garage? I was just in there earlier, that's why I asked. There's a scan thing there, which I didn't see before. Let me do go check that out, because I'm right in the neighborhood, right next to it, literally. So, there was a hand, except I have to go through the accessing area thing again. But hey, what's a little bit of time spent trying to make things better? Adjusting atmospheric pressure. Please wait for pressure stabilization. Mm -hmm. Atmospheric adjustment com completed. Where was the sign thing I saw? Right there. There's a number. At least I know that's there now. Was there a clue in the camera I just saw? There was a handprint next to it, and other stuff which I'm not seeing now. Ah, oh, hell. Puzzle, puzzle. Let's see if there's any number I saw in the camera, then. Adjusting atmospheric pressure. Please wait for pressure stabilization. Okay. Atmospheric adjustment. And at the end of the hallway. I wonder. So let's go look at the garage again. Why are you smiling like that? Why was the password changed all of a sudden? Oh, that. Is it your son's birthday? I heard that he was born the other day. Nathan? <laughs> yeah, what a kid. 
Your daughter gave you that toy in the control room, huh? That was a really nice thing to do. Wish I had a family like that. Hmm. Okay, get back to work. Hmm. Intriguing. I'm going to zoom back out with you looking through the camera spans. Hi, Yoshi. Uh, let's see, there's things around. So we need to find out his son's birthday. I get that much, but where really might that information be stored? Garage passageway, maybe? No. Actually, maybe. Probably won't be labeled on the map, so... A guy named Nathan's birthday. Has that been anything? Except... Actually, though, I hate to be a cheap ass, but if the date's a birthday, that severely limits the options that it can be. I'm gonna be the cheap ass here. After I'm gonna look here. Actually, I'll be the cheap ass right after I go down here to see what's going on. We're gonna see if there's any ghosts inside this foggy area. If there's no birthday I find in here for Nathan, let's get to the oxygen production plant. Uh, uh, hi, Ian. Uh, god damn it, look at it. Hey, wait, wait, where are you? I, this probably isn't the right card, but I'm gonna try it. Yep, that's the wrong card for this section of this uh, quarter. Hopefully there's no big scary ghost around. Nah, that's broken. Down, nope, that's uh, blocked off. That means I'm climbing up. Climb! Wait, is this ladder broken? No, no, it's not. In which case, climb! Alright, I'll see what's flashing over here, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here. The ladder looks like the likely culprit, but it will not. Oh, here I go. Now I was climbing it suddenly. Alright, there we go. We got it. It's foggy, though, so we have to be a bit careful. I have just... Wait. There's vents. Maybe like a the wall here. Pipes. There we go. Pipes of some sort. I don't think I have anything in my inventory to fix the pipe though, do I? Hmm. Probably not. I didn't think it was that. I don't think I have anything to fix this right now. That's a shame. So, back down we go. Oh, we Oh, holy hell, that killed me! I didn't realize that falling from... <laughs> now, I now I know. Oh, wait, I did not mean to jump. I did not mean to jump! Holy hell. Oh, I didn't actually fall off. By some miracle, I didn't just suicide myself right then. I forgot that when you're on the moon, whenever you try running, you just start floating in the air. And that can get you killed if you're not careful. Wait, there's a ghost here. I know you. You're that ghost from earlier. You're, not the, you're one of those harmless ghosts. I'm going to leave you to be... Uh, back to jumping on the moon. Hip hip. I'm hoping I can actually get by this guy, because I think I sort of broke the game over here, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I was supposed to get over here, but I kind of manipulated the moon jump to try and get over here using glitching on the cliff sides. So I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here yet. Make that partially sure. What's this glowing over here? It's just moon platforms? It looks special, I can say that much. But I guess it's just nothing? Yeah, I've got this bad feeling I'm not going to be able to return back because it's going to have that invisible guy that's blocking your way over here, blocking it. 
jump over here. Like, I'm gonna be able to jump here just fine, thanks to the moon jumping. But I bet that one invisible ghost guy that was uh, yelling at Alan's name over and over again. Yep, it's gonna be blocking my way because I cheated my way to get over here. And because I cheated my way, he's staying right there and I can't get by him. So this is actually a glitch. I wasn't supposed to go over yeah. here. Hello. Yep, he's blocking my way. I'm not going to be able to get past him, so I'm going to have to go by that last checkpoint. Thankfully, I'm not very far away from here. Just got to jump off cliffs. Go so, down. confirmed, we're breaking game some more. To death. In slow motion. Space eyes, <laughs> quite possibly. We'll be dead in no time. Alright. So instead of breaking our game and going to locations we're not supposed to be going to yet, let's get back to the actual storyline. I think I'm going to return to the main space station because this whole direction seems to entail things that I don't have yet. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to go in the other direction of the space station and take the other level 2 card I had. Alright, let's fucking do it. We have to quickly do this way. Before we get too deep in this, pick up a battery, ignore the church bell, grab this, pick up the leather diary. I can actually get out very fast. Uh, I'm gonna fucking try and just book it out of here this time. Alright, get out. Oh, we did it. That's fine. Now quickly change the airlocks. Adjusting atmospheric pressure. Please wait for pressure stabilization. Let our heart rate catch back up. Atmospheric adjustment complete. Right. I was realizing I can fucking adjust this correctly. Great. Now, let's get back to the path we're actually supposed to be going and head our way back to the space station. What was that song I'm thinking of? I was walking on the moon one day. It's something like that. It's triggered in my mind whenever someone goes moon jumping like this. But I can't think of what it is at the very top. I think it was in... I remember from a kid... I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. The leap. And the bound. The one thing I'm not a big fan of is waiting for these fucking space doors to open. Oh, that one's already open, though. Adjusting atmospheric pressure. Please wait yeah, for yeah. pressure I mean, it literally only takes five seconds, but still... Atmospheric adjustment. I'll sneak past this ghost guard. Maybe we can book it. Ghost guard, don't hear me. Just pretend that ghost guy isn't sleeping around. And outward. Our fucking heart rate come back down as we head back over. Uh, thank you for getting out to Lear, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to head on my way. I'm already away from it. I think that we weren't supposed to affect the place. I think I'm almost 100% sure we cheated our way over there by doing that scaling thing that we did. So I'm just going to do what I think I'm, what we're supposed to be doing right now. So, okay. Might as well, from kind of the fact that that whole area seemed pretty useless to us for the moment. Alright, so I'm gonna go the opposite way that we went, because there was a second door that needed a level 2 key card, which would lead us to the battery room. Just gotta get through this whole space station area. Actually, there was something on the floor below that required something too, but I'm gonna first take care of this one. There was actually a few things in the level two key card. There's uh, three different doors I can think of that needed it. Next one's over here though. Fortunately, the fog is starting to trail in here. Actually, was that the one next to me? It's that fucking walking person. I, I still don't know what he wants. Uh, you want a collar? Fuel? No. I'm gonna one day find the item that he fucking wants. 
Not the diary. Can opener? <laughs> no. Alright. We're gonna pass through here and get to- Is there still a ghost in here? I don't remember if there was or was not a ghost in here. There was a ghost in here! Back this way we go. Out the way we came. Maybe it's one of those ghosts that disappear as soon as we go through, though. So our heart rate calm down a little bit. Ghosts just want to live in fog. Because apparently they can only kill people when they're in fog. Okay. Now, was this one of those ghosts that's just going to magically disappear when I re-enter the room, or is it more permanent than that? My heart rate is increasing rapidly, so I'm going to assume it's a one-time ghost. One of those randomizers, as I'm calling them at the moment. Actually, was there... No, there's nothing over there, so... We already cleared this area of a ghost. I know it's okay. Not so much it's not foggy, so we're, we'll be fine. There's a control room in there. However, though, I think we have a level 2 access card to get down here now. However, this is going back into the fog, so oh boy. Now, this need a level 2 key card. Yep, it did. These are level 2 key card we've obtained. Yep. Access granted. Alright. Make sure that we're low on our things, because I know there's a vicious ghost in here, so I don't know what we need to do in here yet. You're making sounds over there, so I'm gonna sneak over this way. Where are you? Shh. I'm sneaking, ghost. You don't hear me. It's probably up here where I need to be. Here's a door. Let's go through this. It's not a door. Fuck me. Where are you? I don't know if he's up or down. Fuck, he's getting close. Going to sneak over this way. We're getting away from him again. Walk slowly but surely. Hopefully there's like a door up here or something. That's not a door. Victor. This one you mess with? Nothing happens. Looks like it might be broken. Where are you? Maybe not in the red area? Maybe in the red area? Fucking A. I have a time limit because the ghost is coming. Victor. What am I supposed to do? There we go, I got it. Power management system activated. That's good, what does this do now? I mean, I'm glad to have power management back on. What is, what is that doing for me? Where are you? It's over there right now. Fun times. Now, if I'm going to sneak my way, there has to be. Oh, his passion gets attention. Some of the ghosts are really attracted by sounds. Is that panel over here? I just need to access this. My heart's getting rates getting higher. He was over there. He didn't see me yet. Thankfully, he talks. Makes a lot of walking noises. Pretty easy to tell where he is, so. Stop splashing! 
There is something over here, though. So there's ladders to get away if you get down, caught down with these roots. I probably shouldn't be risking this. But he's walking down the stairs, so it's okay. Yeah, okay, he's over there. What is the purpose of this? Nothing happened. It looks like it might be broken. That's fine. We've stored power. I get that. But what do we do after this? The room is still foggy, so it has to be a way to unfog it. Victor. Let's just try to do a little bit of research. Over here. Hold on. Nothing. Is there like another door in here? Where are you? He's walking in a circular pattern, though, so it's pretty easy to tell where he is. Okay. Hip hip. Nothing bad. Maybe this is all I need to do. Where are you? I mean, technically, power is back. That's what we came here to do, wasn't it? Maybe I can leave and. Because I still need to put his soul to rest. Maybe it's all I can do right now, though. I don't know if this is what I needed to do, but I did it. Let's go check out this room. Maybe I can see something inside the camera room anyway. So let's take a look here. Hacking the monitoring systems. Spooky buttons are always one of the best type of buttons. Now to take a slight guess, let's go to the battery control room. We have three different cameras we can peer in with. So we already did that zoom out effect. Bright side is on cameras, you can see the ghost as well. There he is. Mr. Businessman Ghost. Please, Victor, there should still be some good battery somewhere. What? I, I don't want to be left alone here. Victor, my dad gave this to me before my first flight. I'm giving this to you. I promise it'll protect you. You know you're not as weak as you think you are. But, Captain... Is there something there? That could be what I need. I need to still look a little bit more through there, so... Victor! I better spot that, though. Still looking... Control panel... You make a comment about the stairs? No comment. Alright. Where are you? Up here, maybe? Let's try a different camera angle. A large piece of machinery. Which one is this? Or is this compared to. Okay, that's part of the main machinery, I see. There he is. I'm not seeing anything in particular interest at the very moment. Well, I've made progress there at least. In which case, I guess the only other step to take is to check out the last area currently with a card, because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in there. Random ghost attack us on the way back? Probably. Let's see. Just the random attacking ghost that seems to be in several of these rooms. Awesome. 
Oh, no ghosts this time. We don't have an elevator key for the upstairs area. The randomly walking ghost isn't in here this time either, but we're right next to where we need to be for the final uh, level 2 key card we have. You get down here first, though. Alright. Was this a level 2 key card thing or level 3 or level 1? It's level 3, so never mind, I don't have what I need for this. And I was getting my hopes up about it, too. That's a shame. Hmm. A little bit of thinking. Maybe I can learn a bit more if I look at my notes at the moment. To the notes. And notes. So we've still met 53% of characters, been 63% of rooms, and now I've seen 4%. So there's a total of 50 of those uh, 2D things. Stairwell. Oh, actually, no, there's only a few because it didn't save the other time. Footprints on the stairs in the battery room. Two men are set something at the bottom of the stairway. One of the men is asking the other to search for salvageable batteries, but the man being asked is to go is frightened. Got it. Let's just see different rooms. One of the newest rooms in my inventory thing should be the battery room. House of the battery room in the lunar facility's eternal power management system. Batteries can be recharged here by connecting them to the main storage bank. Oh, I need. I see, so I just need to restore batteries there. Since I turned the power on. Characters I've met. Maybe I can learn a little bit more about uh, the guy who attacked us. It's not you. It's not you. It's you. Ghost seen running around the battery room. He's examining the large machine that dominates the center of the room and keeps calling out the name Victor. I don't think I have any batteries in my inventory right now, so it's not going to be particularly useful, I don't think, though. Let's see. Host radio, monthly report, employee ID card, yellow chemical, and yep. Nothing like a battery, so. Hmm. Peculiar. I may or may not actually refer to a walkthrough right now, because I've now explored all the doors I can open right now with my level 2 key card. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now, because I've gone to the end of each path. And then got stumped. So it's on one path, it seems like there's nothing for me to do right there until I can. Actually, no wait, no, that wouldn't work though. Hmm, what's up, Gabe? Walk these are for losers. I might though, because I'm like, ah. Well, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go to the, even that one door yet. That was me kind of breaking the game. So even if I went there and used the code, I'm not sure if I can get back until I get the music box done. Maybe I won't. I mean, I haven't used the walkthrough so far in this game, so I'd like to continue that, but. I'm at that point where I'm like, ah, so I'm starting to get stumped. Hmm. Just B1, B2. I'll have to debate with myself, though. Let me try a few more things and see if I can figure anything out. But, yeah. Down we go. Over here, there should be a ghost coming up. Is this path still blocked by a spooky ghost? Probably. I don't even really have anything for the room over there, so why am I going over there? I know what's over there. Hmm, I'm trying to think right now. So, obviously, on one hand of things, we have a battery that we need to find to recharge in the battery room. Back to the current inventory, we have a promise ring. These are just two items you can probably start the game with. We have a med kit in case we happen to be low on health and we really need to use it. Which I don't think this game has really proper health. I think more so it just means just to use in case you're in a very tight situation and want to live a little bit longer. We have a host radio, which we got towards the very beginning of the game from the uh, guy that we revived. In fact, we got in this very room that we're in right now. Except we already put that guy to rest and we haven't used it yet. We have a monthly report, which I have no idea what it's for. We have an employee ID card, which you use to scan and open some of the doors, but this, we need to get more of these apparently open up more doors. 
Yellow chemical. No idea what this is for yet. A level one deck ID card. Not ID card yet. Level one card. A collar with a key on it. A level two card key. Fuel canister, can opener, and a leather diary. All the items. I'm checking my inventory right now, Mr. Gabe. Let's see. Ah, pff. pretty sure it's not a chemical there, Mr. Gabe. Hmm, still the bane, though. What am I supposed to be doing? I'll figure it out. It probably has to do with the level 2 ID. There's that fucking random ass ghost again. What do you want? And why do you keep popping up here? He's just gonna go on his ghostly way. He's been popping up a lot around me recently. I try to give him every item I have, though, and I can't talk to him, so. Let me go to my map. Maybe my map will can feel or show something which I previously was not thinking about. Well, the map isn't the greatest in this game. It, it looks kind of cool, but it's not too useful. It's actually kind of limited to the location you're at this very moment. Actually, I think you can switch between maps. No, it's just my shuttle map right now. Operation area, shuttle. That's where we came from. Press X. No, you can only uh, stick to the map where you are, so. The guy is walking around the rounds to find the boss? Quite possibly. Probably not, though. I don't know. I'm just kind of looking at my map. You know what? I'm going to go back to that power room. It's the closest lead I have so far. If I can figure out something there, then that is a win in my book. Maybe all I'm supposed to do is activate the power, but it's better than me just sort of wandering and thinking, wait, wait, I can't go up there, there's a fucking sofa that blocks that route. I have to go up the down escalator. Take care, Yoshi. There's two Yoshis here. Now then, my theory is that there's something, I mean, I looked at something which showed footprints and where that guy was like, previously standing. So maybe it's somewhere around there, something which I'm supposed to do once the power's turned back on. The cycle which the guy takes is pretty predictable, so... Let's just get on back over there. Maybe get attacked by the random ghost in one of the foggy areas again. I should probably let my stamina go back down a little bit. Pain. Let my heart rate catch up with myself so I can run a little bit faster. I was supposed to get attacked by a ghost in here, in which case, oh boy. Ride the wave. Well, no ghost attack this time, it seems. Oh boy. I wish I had apple cider right now, to be honest, but I don't, so I gotta live with what I have, which is water. And trying to figure this out. So let's see if I have the right intuition of what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's not even intuition, it's just me trying to figure this out. Away from the pass by this first area because he goes up the stairs near you first. Where are you? Hmm, okay, should be passed now. Victor! Victor. Okay, I got him. Out we go. Now there 
our heartbeat go down a little bit. Hmm. Well, that could have gone better. Alright, we can do this. First for this ghost. He can't hear us, but Where are you? actually sounds kind of far. Away. No, I'll wait for him to do one cycle, cause that's how they fucking get you. Hmm. I will say though, I am enjoying the game. It's just there's a few elements. It's got that not the pointing. I won't call it the pointing click element. This is not a pointing click game. But it's got the adventure game element where sometimes it's not always made 100% clear what you're supposed to be doing. And then you have to try and figure it out. Not as bad as some point and click games, though. Partially because I think you can be a little bit more engaged because you're doing more than just point and clicking. Where are you? Hmm. Is he not moving? He just keeps on yelling. Where are you? Here he comes though, after he goes by I'm actually gonna take this seriously and go in. He's gonna pass by just shortly. Victor. Victor. Where are you? Okay, that sounds like we're good. We should be looking for a vent right now, but vents are always alongside the wall. I click that. Actually, is that the vent right there? I think that's the vent! Here we go, so we can actually clear this in a second. Alright, I think I have the right one. Hopefully it's the right ID card. Okay. It was that easy. Now I just need to find the ghost here. Now the fog is gone. Sounds like he's down here. There he is. Before he fucking kills us from surprise. said in the little clip so it all comes together. We'll definitely go back to the shuttle as a team. Anything else? Alright, he's got the same thing to say. His soul isn't put to rest, though. I don't think I have anything to help him, though. Nah. 
So if I ever see anything, probably a Victor guy whenever I encounter him. Well, it's progress, but not exactly what we needed to do. Ah, well, it's a little bit of progress. I'll make my job easier later on. I'm gonna go back to that mines area. I don't know, it's like the only other place that has a level 2 key card that kind of makes sense. And I kind of got progress, I just kind of got stuck there. Maybe like this, there's an actual solution to it. I just need to put it all together. Why am I going this way? Where we need to go is this direction, silly. Now, I'm trying to think it over right now. There is an area, wait. I was going to say, there is an area which has a ghost that is a little bit too persistent for his own good that is blocking the way to the mines. There's also uh, some moving platforms there which I didn't quite see how to access. Maybe all the answer is is to find a way which has the paths to make an easy route there. All the peeping. So my guess is just to be a little bit... I just pay more attention and see if there was any route to get to those platforms that I was missing. So there's nothing else I can think of, and that was a dead end for me, which I got kind of stumped on. If I can pull it all together, that'd be the best possible outcome. However, I need to be careful on account of the fact that the monster, or the ghost, not the monster, but the ghost in there, is fucking persistent as hell, so... Yep. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for that uh, lady cutscene again. I should probably save my game while I'm over here. Because some of the stuff to there is a little bit tricky. And I don't want to lose a small bit of progress I actually made, so hit. While it's nice to have a save file in an area I'm not even supposed to be in yet, at the same time it's not really benefiting me, so I'm going to replace it because I need to keep these the eight save files handy dandy just in case I need to do something important. Alright. Now back to Ryan Elevators. There is noise. I'm just trying to make sure there's like no fucking thing that's gonna attack me here. Ride the elevator. Wait, wait. There's the battery. Filtration plant key, the word water filtration plant. Right, so where the fuck is that, though? Alright, need to be observant. See? I already found something just by being observant of things. I need to keep an open mind and see if there's something that'll come in handy. Try and notice things that I haven't noticed before. It's my goal because you never know. That's locked and all sorts of things. Can I use something to open this? Maybe this key I got? No, that's not it. Oh, battery. Not the best of worst thing, but yeah, it's a thing. I think this might be the area. Yeah, this is the area that we're at when we enter to the other door. Just a different entrance to there. We don't have anything to undo the leak yet, so we better be a bit cautious. We got attacked in this room before, and I haven't actually properly looked at this room. There's a door here? I even know this is a door to a monitor room, apparently. And I didn't even notice. Alright, well, might as well save the game while I'm in the neighborhood again. Yep. Is this the operation chamber? Got it. Or work? Alright, where are on these cameras? Alright, electrocalysis extraction. Let's see. Is this just, yeah, it's just this little area. 